Time for some live music on the program, and I'm delighted to welcome all the way from Boston singer songwriter Michelle Lewis. Now, this is Michelle's first visit to Northern Ireland and first visit to this part of the world entirely. She has just two shows left to play here in Northern Ireland before heading off to England and then off to Germany. Tonight, she'll be playing in the Bronte Music Centre in Rathfryland and then tomorrow night in the Endler Delta Blues Club in Cumber. We'll chat in a moment or two, but first, with a track from her latest uh, album. This track is called None of That Now, and this is the fabulous Michelle Lewis. Piles of laundry on the bedroom floor Handles broken on the bathroom door There's stacks and bills laying all around Oh, but I don't care about none of that now The fridge is empty, the cupboard ignored Gaslight shining on my dashboard There's gonna be traffic all the way downtown Oh, but I don't care about none of that now It's easy to count up all that's wrong When trouble's all that you can But all my worry disappeared The first time that you smiled at me My back is tired, my feet are sore I barely make it to my front door But I hear your voice and I turn up Oh, and I don't care about none of that now Troubles all that you can see But all my worry disappeared The first time that you smiled at me My back is tired, my feet are sore I barely make it to my friend Hear your voice and I turn around Oh, and I don't care about none of that now I hear your voice and I turn around Oh, and I don't care about none of that now I don't care about none of that now I don't care about none of that now Michelle, that was lovely. Thank you so much Thank for that. You. Absolutely lovely. Thanks for having me. Oh, more than well. Welcome to Northern Ireland. Thank you. Are you enjoying it? Oh, absolutely. The weather's actually been beautiful. Um, and this is normal uh, for us. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, your your uh, your summer is a lot like the LA winter. Which, uh, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> is but, this something um, you always wanted to do, to come to Ireland? Was it a thing from your childhood yeah for sure i mean i'm i'm a good eighth irish which you know everyone well, in america is a little bit irish yeah, right? <laughs> yeah i was wondering because you're from boston so you, yeah there's got to be some irish blood yeah in absolutely so um yeah i've always loved i mean i've always loved europe i studied abroad in london in college and that's when i did the you know was did a week tour in ireland um and i've always wanted to come back and um now i'm so glad that i get to bring my music here that's even more exciting than, than just enjoying the scenery you know you've, so. you've, you've already played a few gigs i uh, 
How's, yeah. How's it gone down? We, we hit the, the road running. Um, we flew in on Monday morning. We took a red eye from Boston and uh, have had gigs every single day this week. So a couple more nights and then we finally get a night off in, in Belfast. So, so you'll get excited. to see some of yeah. the city, will you? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. Good, yeah. good, good. good. <laughs> How much of your time are you, do you spend touring now in the year? Um, it really depends. Last year was a big tour year because I just released the new album, um, The Parts of Us That Still Remain. Um, so that was released about a year ago in America. And um, my husband and I spent eight months, seven, eight months uh, just touring the United States. Um, we, we put all of our belongings in storage and we moved into our car, basically, and and uh, spent, you know, the whole summer on the road. We did about 20,000 miles and Goodness. then spent another couple months, you know, just on the East Coast. Uh, was that a bit of a risk or was that a, a decisions that the pair of you just thought well let's just go do this well I mean it was definitely planned out um you know my husband had to quit his job to do it uh but uh he had been wanting to go out on his own for a while so I think it gave him the the courage to do it so that he could be with me and I could I could have him on the road and um he's a director so uh so it was really nice to be able to be together because I've done tours around the United States which is quite large you know uh by my all by myself you know and I can do it but it's nice to have the company you know so um so it was a, everything's you know it's always a risk playing music is a risk yeah. but but um you know we had we had the whole tour planned and added gigs as we went and um you know got the word out there about the album so it was, yeah it was great and now you've turned your husband into a cameraman because he's two foot away from you with a camera <laughs> he has it virtually up your nose at this moment in time i don't even notice him anymore <laughs> <Do you not? laughs> hi Annette. say hello Hello. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> the album, uh, your latest album, The Parts of Us That Still Remain, it's an unusual title for an album. Yeah. What's the, what's the background <laughs> to the name? So um, the title comes from a lyric in the um, first track off the album, um, which is called Sorry I Forgot to Write. And um, it's kind of a, a song about um, letting go and, uh, you know, kind of wanting, you're always going to yearn for something that, that isn't going to work out. And um, the lyric... Uh, is the parts of us that still remain keep pretending that everything's the same. And so um, we were trying to figure out the, uh, you know, what we were going to name the album. And um, so we started listening at the beginning and that line came out and I just thought, well, that works. <laughs> so. You have a song called Run, Run, Run. And I was listening to it last night and I was thinking, you're from Boston. I wonder, has it anything to do with the bombing at the uh, Boston Marathon a couple of years ago. Yeah, so um, indirectly, uh, it definitely does, but I didn't actually originally write it about the bombings. Um, I originally wrote it a month before the bombings happened um, for a friend that was making a documentary about running the fastest marathon of his life. Okay. And I thought, oh, well, I'll write him a song. Maybe he'll use it in the movie. And um, about a month later, the bombings happened, and uh, we lived you know four blocks from from the finish line where the bombs went off and um i had Were to play a gig. um i luckily was not at the finish line every other year that i can remember i've been at the finish line um this particular year uh it was a few weeks before we were getting married and my husband was at his bachelor party and so um i was just at home i thought i'd you know maybe just watch the end on tv or something like that um and i think i turned on the tv about 10 minutes after it happened and kind of had no wow. i didn't understand what was going on you know it was very it was scary um but uh but so i had a i had a gig the very next evening in boston which i remember driving to the gig and just i usually am excited not nervous you know want to play for people and i remember just having this pit in my stomach as like i don't i don't want to do this i don't know it just felt too soon it felt too weird but as soon as I got on stage, I realized that's exactly where I needed to be, um, you know, and that's exactly what people needed. People needed, you know, the healing and the music. And, um, you know, we we discarded the ticket price and just opened the doors for free because we just wanted people to come in. Really? And um, I think I donated all my CD sales that night to, to the one fund in Boston. And it just felt like you needed to do something, you know, you needed to be part of something and part of a community and do something good for, for everybody. And, um, and so it was kind of that night that I realized when I played run, 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 it had a totally different meaning. And, um, ever since then, it's kind of been an anthem for the Boston marathon, um, at least to me. And I know a lot of other runners out there. Um, so we actually made a tribute video for the following year. We spent the next seven months, um, 
filming runners running in all sorts of weather conditions and and stuff like that and we did a little tribute for the 2014 boston marathon kind of looking forward not not concentrating on what happened but looking forward to what was going to happen and so you can check that out on youtube.com slash michelle lewis music Um, yeah would you sing that one for us of course this is from uh michelle's album the parts of us that still remain and this one is called run 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 From the Colorado mountains To the California sun I won't stop until I get there I will run, run, run I've been lonely for a long time Always searching for someone Still not sure what I am looking for So I will run, run, run There's no use in making plans Cause there's no telling what's to come Just when you think you have a chance The strings you've tied all come on I have loved you since I met you Always knew you were the one If you need me, I'll come get you Yes, I will run, run, run Michelle Lewis, live, BBC Radio All-Star. That's from the album, The Parts of Us That Still Remain. And that particular song was called Run, Run, Run. Michelle, thank you so much for dropping by. Thanks so much. And enjoy Northern Ireland. Cheers, thank you.